everyone, I am Sarah Salzman with Zero Waste Advocacy. Uh, we just threw this pitch, together, pitch deck together this afternoon, so I apologize for my shortcomings. The next few weeks it'll get much better, but uh, what better way to uh, get good than to throw myself to the wolves, right? <laughs> so essentially what Zero Waste Advocacy does is we turn trash into cash. Essentially, right now the problem is as a nation and as a planet, we are paying to waste. And it's estimated that we're throwing about $55 billion worth of resources into landfills right now. And the issue is, is that cities are running out of space. I would throw this deck away and start over. So I, I, won't, be too, I won't be too harsh, but he, here's how I have seen really successful pitches go define the problem in the terms of did you know, especially with garbage, right? People put it out on the curb every week, they don't have a clue what happens to it after that, nor do they care. So you've got to do a did you know. Did you know that the stuff you throw away does X, Y, and Z? Did you know in Dallas, X, Y, and Z? Then go into what the solution is. What is your solution? And this took too long to get to what the solution was. Your solution is a great solution, and I got excited when I heard this story. Condense that down into a very easy to digest story and then talk about your business in the path. Cut out all the stuff about the articles and, and that big diagram that had a whole bunch of words on it. Get it down to a really concise story. You want to tell the story, not everything about zero waste. That's why it's important, okay? And if you're not prepared, at least you need to have the elevator pitch. Um, just, you know, I understand that you got thrown up there and you go from there, but a couple of key points. By the way, you're, you, you stole all my thunder. <laughs> Damn you. Sorry. Um, one of the things, if you have a slide up there, don't say, oh, we don't need to go over this slide. Because the big question is, why did you put it in there in the first place then? Right? You know, you want to be, you want to be sharp and crisp. I mean, Again, we understand it's a throwaway deck, but you know, you're gonna do it again. You're gonna do a great job next time, okay? Secondly, intent counts more than content. I said this last time I was here, I'll say it again. You know, really believe, you know, be passionate. Don't gloss over it because this is your life. And by the way, when I say this is your life, you know, you're up there for your life.